Quarterback's job is to be a leader in the locker room and on the field. The quarterback sets the tone for the team and needs to be always setting an example. insider Patrick Peterson with insights on quarterbacks. Now Patrick, what do you think is the importance and role of quarterback on the team? The role of a quarterback on a team is to motivate and help the players win. They're supposed to make the offense go and make, motivate the defense. Tom Brady shows great leadership on and off the field. After getting drafted 199th in the 2000 NFL Draft, he led the Patriots to three Super Bowl wins in his first four years. Brady also has the highest regular season winning percentage of any QB ever. Eli Manning is one of the most clutch QBs ever in playoff history. He is the second highest playoff win percentage of any other active quarterback. In 2011, when they won the Super Bowl, Eli Manning had eight game winning drives. He's become one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, and that doesn't really have anything to do with Bill and I. That has everything to do with Tommy Brady. If we were smart, we would have drafted him sooner than 199th all overall. That's the truth. Football, obviously, it's, it's my life, and it's something I've been doing for a long time, and, and, and I've loved. It's been a great 10 years. I've worked extremely hard, and I've done everything possible to be the best player I can be. We have not always had success every year, but it wasn't because of our preparation and our dedication. I still feel young, I still feel energized, excited about what I'm doing every day, trying to learn something new and get better and enjoying every minute of it, and uh, it has gone by fast. right before our very eyes. Now 2-0 oh, in the games that matter the most. I'm here with Mr. Bucko talking about quarterbacks. Now who do you think is better, Tom Brady or Eli Manning? It's clear Eli Manning is better. Now why do you think that? Because in two Super Bowls, which I don't know if you've heard of the Super Bowl before. I have. It's like the most important football game of the year. Yeah. Eli Manning's won two of them. And in both of those Super Bowls, he beat Tom Brady. But, Your move. But, <laughs> but Tom Brady has won three Super Bowls. More than two. Did he beat Eli Manning in either of those two Super Bowls? No, he did not. I rest my case. <laughs> so if I go play a bunch of games against people and I beat people in three games and then I play you and you beat me twice, does that make me better than you because uh, I won more games than you? No. There you go. I rest but, my case. But, but there's... 11 other players on the field. 10 other players. Right, but you asked me who's better, Tom Brady or Eli Manning. And I but responded. Tom you didn't Brady, say which 11 Tom players Brady are better. Tom Brady didn't just lose to the Eli Manning. He lost to the Giants well, football program. But not only Tom Brady did win those three Super Bowls by himself, he won them with 11 other people. So maybe Tom Brady's not that good either. Get a move. Can we get this get some help here? <laughs> Patriots in 2007 go 18-0. and 0. That's, that's And they run into a that's brick fantastic. wall known as Eli Manning. No, known as who the also, Giants. Who also the was Giants. involved in arguably the greatest play in Super Bowl history, which is a little overrated, or the name is overrated, in the helmet catch. Because I think that a lot of people forget the first half of that play was Eli Manning eluding tackles and throwing the ball. For a great reception. That was that was lucky. He just he just threw it into the middle of the field. He okay. didn't even know who This is an inside the NFL web exclusive from Super Bowl 46. Is Eli Manning an elite quarterback? Eli is an, a, a great quarterback. There's no question about it. I think that you know he you don't lead this team to this game uh, you know without being a great quarterback. He's performed extremely well this year under pressure in big games. You know, since he came in the league, he's been a starting quarterback. And, and to play in New York is very challenging, I'm sure. You know, I, everyone says that. So I think he's a great quarterback, great leader, and, uh, and obviously has all the physical skills to be able to, to lead his team. Eli, Tom Brady called you an elite quarterback earlier today. Does that mean anything to you coming from him? 
you know, Tom's a, a terrific quarterback and, and uh, is an elite quarterback himself. So, um, you know, uh, I'm, it's very nice of him to say. Thank you. Eli, are you staying with Peyton while no, you're in Indy? No, no, no. Uh, not staying with Peyton. We're staying in team hotel. I, uh, I probably won't see Peyton until after the game. This has been an Inside the NFL special report from Super Bowl 46. As everybody knows, numbers don't lie. Statistic-wise, Tom Brady is clearly the better quarterback in every category.